name is Michael Bach, orthopedic physician at the Southern California Orthopedic Institute. One of the areas I specialize in is shoulder surgery. Double fellowship trained in shoulder, including shoulder arthroscopy and shoulder replacements. To start off with, the rotator cuff uh, is a set of four muscle tendons that surrounds the shoulder ball and holds it in the shoulder socket, which makes up the shoulder joint. Uh, the names of the rotator cuff are supraspinaeus, infraspinaeus, teres minor, and subscapularis. Their primary function, again, is to, to center the humeral ball in the, hum in the shoulder socket. A rotator cuff tear occurs when one of those tendons pulls off the bone itself, uh, and it can occur with daily life activities, uh, as well as sporting activities or accidents. We like to tailor the treatment for rotator cuff tears specifically for that patient. And the treatment of rotator cuff tears can be very variable. Um, uh, starting at the very far end of the spectrum, more conservative measures to really help patients feel better are physical therapy to strengthen surrounding muscles, um, uh, anti-inflammatory medications, pain medications, and cortisone injections, which will help them uh, uh, feel better or with less pain. They don't necessarily fix the rotator cuff tendon tear, uh, but they can be uh, provide enough relief where the patient will be happy with it. Um, for tears that are significant or that are problematic, uh, we can recommend arthroscopic rotator cuff repairs where we actually stitch or sew the tendon back down to the bone through minimally invasive or arthroscopic techniques. If the rotator cuff is very big and unrepairable or irreparable, then we can recommend arthroscopic reconstructions using allodermis where we basically have a, um, a patch of tissue that we can use to bridge or augment uh, rotator cuff repairs and that can be very helpful. For tears that are far gone and have resulted in forms of arthritis, a reverse shoulder replacement uh, where we replace the shoulder joint with a, a new or specialized prosthesis uh, is uh, a godsend for some patients uh, because it takes care of their pain and gives them back their function. Arthroscopic surgery is a great option for rotator cuff repairs because it's minimally invasive. It doesn't detach any muscles. They're small incisions. You can do uh, very good work uh, matching, if not better, open repair techniques. Uh, the rehab is faster. So there are a number of advantages uh, for patients with arthroscopic surgery versus traditional movement surgery. After arthroscopic surgery for rotator cuff tears, uh, we typically use an ultra sling or abduction brace for four to six weeks. Our job is to fix the tendon to the bone and then we have to wait for it to heal. So it takes about four to six weeks for good healing to take place. After those first four to six weeks, we uh, transition to formal physical therapy. Uh, we get your motion back and strength back. Uh, histologic studies show that maximal tensile strength or the amount of healing that takes place reaches its peak in about three to four months out after repair. So that's when we'll begin strengthening and, and more aggressive activities. And we can say that about full recovery, about four to six months after the procedure, uh, with patients still receiving benefits and improvement even up to a year after surgery.